Hi, I'm Jim Springer with Computer Aided Technologies, the people who make ScanCat Lite Plus. On this video, we're going to continue with our free online frequency search options. This can be done right inside of ScanCat. You can capture frequencies to the sites that we take you to and place them right into the database area of our ScanCat Lite Plus. This is available by going up here to Freak Searches, and you'll see the first one says Online Frequency Search. Now, there are a number of other searches available, but when you click on this one for the first time, it will open up the little top white database, and you end up at the Bearcat 1 free site as the default. But if you go up here to Freak Search Options, You'll notice one of the other options is radio reference, which is the one we're going to cover in this tutorial. So you click here. <clears throat> now, I've got to point out one thing. If you do not have Internet Explorer version 6 on your computer, sometimes these links will not work. There is a bug in Microsoft Internet Explorer 7 that has to do with the JavaScript which some of these sites like Radio Reference use. So if you click here and nothing happens, you're going to find out that you're actually using Internet 7. It has nothing to do with whether you also have Firefox. It's the controls that are included with Internet 6 that we use inside of this program. And until they fix their Internet 7, there's nothing we can do about it. So this is the Java part where you go to a state and then you can pick one and for this one we're going to use Ohio and then the uh, individual states will come up loading a map and for this I'm going to find where Montgomery County is and then if you scroll down below the map you'll see all of the systems for instance, this one says Montgomery County, Motorola Type 2 SmartNet. Montgomery County is the county in which Dayton, Ohio, Kettering, and some other cities reside in. Now, it'll tell you the type of system, and all of the frequencies will be listed, as well as talk groups for each of the individual types that are included in this frequency system here. It's really quite simple to get a hold of all this. Just go up here to Freak Search Options, copy frequency TGIDs to upper database. What is going to happen though is you're going to be taken to an intermediary text looking box and we've captured all of the text that was on that site in this box. It's also editable so if there were things in here that you didn't want to include and in what's going to end up in this white database all you'd have to do was just edit them out. For instance, I could just wipe this out by highlighting it and then hitting the delete key. Uh, let me give you an idea just like what we can do here. We hit the delete key, or you can right click and say delete, and that would remove parts that you don't want to ex uh, import. So what we do is we look at the options that we have. This is a trunking system, so instead of picking conventional, you use the trunking button or the talk group IDs. Now, what we're going to do is pick the trunking frequencies, but we do also have an option of putting them in the upper or the lower database. If you place them in the upper one, then you can pick and choose from there which ones you want to end up down in the lower database, which is the one that you're going to use to program your radio with. So let's just try this one first it will give you the option to describe what all these frequencies are so we're going to call this Montgomery County as the default and now if we go over here there they are all of them now let's see what happens when we go back over to that database and this time choose the trunk talk groups Okay, what it has done, it has placed all of the talk groups over here, all of the frequencies over here. So now we have them combined in the database. So I don't think I want to use this one. Let's see, I think I can press delete 
No, okay, it's only on the bottom database. So what we would do is say copy, select all records in the source. And I'm going to just unselect this one up here because it's an aircraft frequency got picked up by mistake. Then I'm going to just put all of the frequencies in the lower database, but we have to mark where you want to start first. So we're going to pick the first channel, copy, put the frequencies down there. Be sure to move it back up and select the group first row. And when I say copy, highlighted freak IDs to lower database, it's going to take all of them and place them down here. So now we have the entire system. All you have to do now if you wanted to program this first bank into the radio would be to pick the type system and it showed it up as Motorola Type 2 UHF because somewhere in here was probably a designator that uh, described that. If it's not set right, make sure you pick the right system. Uh, I think it should be Roly, Motorola Type 2 800. Then we go over here to Bank 1, go back up to Freak Searches, and hit Back. And this time, I want to pick the city of Dayton, just as an example. Probably is already in there, but I want to show you how easy it is to grab these all off the screen one at a time. Copy upper database, ends up in this text box. What we don't want, we can get rid of. Now all I have to do is say upper, take the trunk frequencies, call this city of Dayton, pick the talk groups, place them all up there. Does it in two different operations. Now go over here and you'll see that we have the frequencies for the city of Dayton and we have all the talk groups and it's just a matter of selecting them all, copy the frequencies, copy, uh, better make sure you reset this first or you'll end up putting them in the bottom there somewhere. And then say copy highlighted fleet IDs. Go over here, set up your system. Keep setting it for UHF. I'll have to look and see if there was a, a designator inside of that text file. If there was, it did set it for the correct system. It may be UHF, but if it's not, you know how to reset it. Now we've got bank one from Montgomery County. We've got bank two for Dayton, Ohio. We can go back over here, hit back, hit back again so we can find some other areas of interest. Let's pick uh, Columbus, Ohio. Pick Franklin County Public Safety which is probably the police. Yeah, police and fire. Says it's a mobile over type 2 smart net. So let's see what happens now. Bring them all into the uh, what I call my little parsing screen. Click on trunk. Click on OK. Talk groups. Go over here. Copy select them all. Let's go to bank two to make sure we don't overwrite something else. Pick the top channel. Reset it to first cell. Copy the fleet IDs. Let's see what system it set it up for. set it for Motorola Type 2. I'd say we've spent less than seven minutes and we got three systems in here and you can continue on with this until you get a full 10 banks and then program the radio simply by going up here. Program entire Pro 97. One little thing, you really want to save this file to somewhere so go to Files, Load, Save File, save it as a personal file and we're going to call this radio reference example RSD 
and we're going to navigate over here and place it into our RSD personal database folder where a lot of the other RSD files are. Double click to open it up. You got it. That should cover anything as far as how radio reference works. Remember now, if the clicks don't work, you'll have to install Internet 6 in order to get this radio reference screens to function properly and be able to navigate with the mouse. Thank you very much for your uh, uh, business and we'll go on to the next tutorial.